Hey everybody, it's Lo and welcome back to my channel, Lo Without Limits. Today I'm going to be showing you my five top tips to just feeling better when everybody else seems to be getting pretty sick. So if you wanna see those, then just keep watching. Now at this point of the year, whether it's because of the weather changing or because everybody's just stressed and overworked with the holidays, everybody seems to come out of it feeling so sick. Everybody gets the cold or the flu and you just wanna stay away from that. And once one person gets it, it starts spreading and you wanna stay away. So here are my tips that I use to one, not only not get sick from everybody, but to help myself feel better as soon as I start feeling a little under the weather. Right now, I woke up yesterday with like a sore throat and already just doing some of these things, I woke up today feeling so much better. While I still feel like I sound a little hoarse, I just feel so much better already. So here are just my top five tips to one, not getting sick, and two, just stopping it as soon as it starts. So the first one is to steam it out. Take a nice warm shower, really just like take in all the scents. I also have like some eucalyptus hanging in my shower, which really helps. So just really steam it out and doing that really opens up like your nose and your throat and just kind of gets rid of everything. And that way you can't take a shower, obviously every minute of every day. I have this little humidifier, I just got them on Amazon. So you just stick some water in there and one, it's a humidifier, so if you just want to throw water in there, that's perfect. Stick it on your, like, your bedside table and have it going in the evening and at night, so when you wake up, you already feel better. And two, it's also a diffuser, so with the water, you can also add in some essential oils. And these are just some essential oils that I pick up at Sprouts. And they are a bit pricey sometimes, so I always just buy one or just grab one when it's on sale. I never, I've never gone and just like gone a bunch. But one of the best ones is lavender. It's calming, and all these brands are, are acacia. I'm not really super into one brand over the other. It's just what's available at Sprouts. Lavender is super good. It really helps open up your passageways, and especially in the evening and when you're going to sleep, lavender really helps just keep you calm and just keep everything like calming and open and relaxed. Same with the eucalyptus. This one is exhilarating is what they call it. And I just think it's very good for when you need to like breathe and just helps you breathe and open everything up. So especially if you feel like you're very flimmy in your throat or your nose is a little backed up, definitely use some eucalyptus or you can do a couple drops of eucalyptus and lavender. One, it smells amazing. Your whole place, my apartment, but your whole place will just smell so good as soon as you walk in. It's like burning a candle. And two, you'll just feel so much better, especially if you sleep with it going. Some other ones that I have are just peppermint. This one's cooling. So I also like using peppermint when I have like an achy joint, which sometimes happens when you do get sick. Some lemon. This one is renewing. It's very um, fresh and like awakening smelling to me. So it's not one that I recommend using in the evening or at night. This is definitely like a daytime one. Like lemon and eucalyptus would be really good together. And wild chamomile. Again, just like lavender, this is very, very calming. So you can mix them all together or just do one, pick up a few, and you can use them, um, like with the peppermint, you can use it topically, but again, just using it with this diffuser or as a humidifier, it really, really helps. And of course, if you just wanna get in the shower, it's your perfect excuse to take a nice, a long, warm shower and just really like take in all the steam that you're creating. Now in this last one, I did mention my chamomile essential oil, but of course, chamomile tea works as well. I buy a bunch of yogi teas, again, at Sprouts. Sometimes you can get like two for $7. So this one I like using all the time, especially right before bed if I'm a little restless. Just some chamomile tea. And then another one that I like, this, is, this came in a cold season sampler pack, but I just bought them all separately because I love them all so much and I wanted more. So I have Breathe Deep. This one supports respiratory health. And all these are caffeine free too, so you can have them in the evening. Also cold season, this one supports the body during the cold weather season. And it has ginger, licorice. Some of these, the cold ones, aren't the best tasting teas that you'll ever have, but they definitely work. This one is the Echinacea Immune Support and Throat Comfort or Throat Coat. So you can get Throat Coat with so many brands. And this one, of course, is the unflavored one. It's just the Throat Coat. So again, it's not the best tasting, but they also have throat coat with like honey and lemon already in it. So that one tastes so much better. And again, I get that in the Yogi brand, but I've always used throat coat. I was in a sorority. So when you do the 
whole weekend of just like talking to people and chanting and you start losing your throat voice in the middle of it, throat coat always save the day. So if you're feeling like you can't really speak or you just need to like get your voice back, I definitely recommend throat coat, throat comfort, any brand really works. And then not only tea really works, but if you just wanna have warm water with some lemon and honey, that is just as good. So if you don't want the flavor, you don't really wanna to go to sleep if you have the chamomile, just lemon and honey in nice warm water helps so much. And there are two types of honey that I really recommend. The first one is just local SoCal honey. I believe I've mentioned it in a few videos before where I've talked about it and how amazing local honey is. Of course, for me, it's local SoCal because that's where I am. But wherever you are, you're in Wisconsin, go find some Wisconsin honey. So this is just so good because local honey, since it's from around you, has a lot of the local pollens. So if you get sick a lot from allergies, which I never really get a cold or flu, knock on wood, I do have really bad allergies. Like I'm just allergic to the world. So having some local honey really, really helps because it's essentially like a vaccination where you're taking in the pollens in the form of this honey. So then when you're out in the world and like all the pollens and the winds pick up, you don't get affected as it as much as you would if you didn't do this. I also mentioned on my Instagram once when I was talking about honey that a couple summers ago I was doing a big tour. So a couple of nights we were in Slovenia and they just had so many beautiful flowers along the river and the people were also smoking. So at that point we were like out and getting dinner and I felt like I couldn't breathe. Like my lungs were just like closing in on me and I was like, I can't breathe. And I was like just drinking water and the waiter kept bringing me water and I was just chugging it. And then we tried going out after and I was like, I can't, like I must go back to our hostel. And I think I'm gonna like try to find honey or something just to like eat something good, try to find medicine on my way home. And someone mentioned, they're like, I'm pretty sure at the front desk I saw a sign that said local honey. So I was like, okay. So I went there, walked back to the host hostel. I asked them about this honey and they pointed out a little sign. It's like local honey, three euro. So they gave me in this cute little honey jar, some honey and like a little wooden spoon. And they actually get the honey from the rooftop. They have like a little honey, what do you call it? Like a beehive, honey factory whatever you call that, they get their honey on the rooftop. So it really can't get more local than that. I sat in my bunk, ate the honey, and the next morning I felt amazing. Like I don't think I'd felt better that whole trip. I felt so good and it was just great. And what helped was getting all the local, very local pollens into my body. And another one, which is very not local for Southern California or most of America, is New Zealand Makuna honey. So Makuna honey, um, you can base it off of its UMF. 10 is about average for average price and average range. So Makuna honey is only harvested in New Zealand because they have the Makuna flowers that their bees pollinate. And what in, whatever's in the Makuna flowers that gets pollinated into the honey is so good for your body. It's really antibacterial. It just really helps your immune system. It's not as sweet or good as other honeys. Um, if you just like take a spoonful of it, which I have done, which has helped. I've like taken a spoonful at night, wake up in the morning, already feel better. But if you're mixing it in your water with some lemon, you can't really taste it that much. And this I found at Trader Joe's. I was looking at different Makuna honeys and different UMFs and different prices on like Amazon and Target and everything. And I walked into Trader Joe's one day. They have a little section of like new in store. I saw this and it was about 12, $13. And I was like, I must buy it. So I really, really like Makuna honey. Of course, again, just go for the UMF of about 10 and then dip, just depending on your budget and your price and like what you can find that's available, you can go a little bit higher or lower, but 10 is the average. And then again, if this, you can't find it or it's just way too expensive, local honey is just as good, especially for just seasonal allergies. Okay, now that I've told you all what to have, having the salt water, the different teas, different drinks, everything, here's what not to have when you feel like you're gonna get sick. Dairy or anything creamy. I'm dairy free, but still having anything creamy and having that in your throat when it's already just like gross and flummy does not help the situation, especially if you have it in the evening. You'll wake up and I don't know if you guys notice this too, but you just feel like you have like a layer of like something in your throat and it's not good. So it's actually been proven that having dairy and like other creamy substances when you're not feeling well really doesn't help you feel better. So one of my tips instead of helping is just don't have 
dairy, especially when you're feeling sick. So if you're leading up to it and your throat starts feeling weird and you think, oh, maybe a glass of milk will help. No, don't do it. Have yourself some nice warm lemon and honey water and it'll be so much better than having that gross feeling of dairy along your throat. And a super simple tip, which you're probably gonna roll your eyes out because it's just so easy. But another super simple tip is just sleep it off. So if you have time to just rest, maybe you can't take it off work, but for me personally, I like to go to the gym a lot. But if I feel like I'm getting a little sick, the last thing I'm gonna do is overwork my body and just exert so much energy going to the gym when I can rest in bed, catch up on some Netflix, some work, like editing this video maybe, read a book because I always tell myself I'm gonna read like once a day and check that off and I never really get to do it. So this is honestly like, when you do feel a little sick and you do need to take some time to yourself, it's actually like a blessing in disguise to be able to rest and like be forced to rest. And that also kind of goes into my last tip. And this is a way to just stop getting sick before it even happens. Like you won't even get sick. My first one is to have vitamin C. Of course you can have it in the form of like oranges and other citrusy uh, fruits. But for me, I just take vitamin C. I take one cap like pill every single morning with my other medicine. This is really the only vitamin that I take alongside with iron because I'm anemic. But other than that, I take this every day and it's honestly helped me so much. There are times like today where my throat feels a little bit worse than usual, but overall, over the past like year when I've been taking this regularly, I haven't gotten super sick, whereas everybody else in the office will be out for a week and then they come back and I'm like they're all kind of back and forth, whereas I get tired and yes, my throat hurts, but at the same time, I haven't hit just like the cold and everything as hard as they have and I truly truly believe it's because I take vitamin C every day and then that also goes just to stop getting sick in your tracks rest of course when you're feeling like you're gonna come in and just don't overdo it and see the sun like for me I always feel sick and it might be just like a mental game where it's like my body starts reacting to how I'm feeling inside is if I'm working and especially now with daylight saving and the sun goes down at like 4 p.m. practically if I'm working and I get to the office and I only see the sun when I'm like walking to my car and then walking from my car to the office and then I leave and it's so dark outside to me that's just like very depressing almost and not seeing the sun, I feel like it just like takes a toll on my body because in my head I'm like very sad about it. So definitely if you have a few minutes just in the middle of your day or during your lunch, maybe take like a walk around your building, just being able to see the sun and really bask in like the vitamin D and like absorb it while you can before it goes away at 4 p.m. helps so, so, so much. So vitamin D from the sun, vitamin C from either citrus fruits or vitamin C pills and just resting your body and don't overwork it and that also kind of goes with the mental side of being stressed from the holidays and everything if just relax a little bit more take a little bit of time for yourself and don't overwork it then i think your body will be able to relax and rest more and you won't be as prone to getting sick because you won't be overworking your body and overworking your adrenal system well that is all those are my top five tips to just feeling better when you start feeling like you're about to get a cold or a flu or just allergies and also just how to stop it in its tracks and just not get sick at all so i really hope that you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up comment down below what your favorite tip is or what tips that you have to feel better when you start feeling sick and while you're there be sure to subscribe i upload a new video every wednesday so until the next one thanks for watching